So today we're at Free Academy, we're answering a question about logarithms. Specifically, what are the rules for doing algebra on logarithms? And we're gonna pretty much dive right into this, but let's say we have two functions, log base a of g of x and log base a of f of x. And it's important that the a's are always the same. All these rules have the condition that the base is always going to be the same. This can be uh, e, or it can be 117, but I'm going to use log base two. So to dive right in, rule one. I don't have a name for this. I'm not aware of any name for it. Multiplication rule, additive rule, call it whatever you like. But what it states is the log base a of g of x multiplied by f of x equals log base a of g of x plus the log base a of f of x. So let's say to do an example right away, log 2 of 2x equals log base 2 of 2 plus log base 2 of x. So that's rule one right there. i right, clean this up really quick. And now we're on to rule two. This is more or less the same, only instead of being uh, multiplication, we're going to use division. So it's gonna be g of x divided by f of x. And that's going to equal log base a of g of x minus log base a of f of x. To do an example really quick, log a of 1 over x, and we'll make that a 2, log, of, log base 2 of 1 over x equals log base 2 of 1 minus log base 2 of x. And that's our roll two. Now we're gonna go on to roll three. I always call this one the exponential rule. Don't know what anybody else calls it, but you know, one in Rome, right? So if you have log base a of g of x raised to the f of x, that equals f of x times log base a of g of x. So log base 2 of x squared equals 2 log base 2 of x. And those are our basic rules for a logarithm. Tune in in the next lecture to see an example of this applied. Hope you enjoyed this lecture from freeacademy.com.